for this drill, we're going to be working on two things. As always, I want each person in the drill to be focusing on something and almost picking ahead of time. This is what my focus is. Um, Porter, I'm going to have you be up at the no volley zone, and you're working on staying up close at that line, taking balls out of the air, being aggressive. Okay? Kendall, I'm actually going to have you focus on playing in the midcourt. So what do you, what do you, in your mind, what do you think the midcourt is? Well, someplace you don't want to be for very long, but okay. it's usually defensive shots trying to get your way back in. Good. So a lot of times we call it no man's land. I do not prefer that term. To me, it's the land of opportunity. There's a lot that can happen in the midcourt, and we do find ourselves there quite often. So we should be spending a lot of time drilling and practicing and being comfortable in this position. Okay. So what I want you to be doing is, is staying uh, pretty much in the middle of the kitchen line and the baseline. Somewhere in this area is where you're going to be focusing on. Okay. Uh, Porter, go ahead and go on up to the no volley zone. So from here, what shot is my typical goal? Uh, drop. Yeah, so I probably want to try to drop it. I want to bring the ball under control. As you mentioned, it's often in a defensive position. Um, we find ourselves here sometimes when we're moving forward off our third shot. Sometimes we find ourselves here when we've been pushed back from the kitchen line. So typically, we're, we're in a defensive position. We're trying to bring it under control. One of the things I want you to focus on when we're here is having this paddle out in front of you. Okay, so the harder Porter hits the ball at me, the less I need to do with my paddle. I'm just blocking this ball back, trying to get it in the kitchen. In a real game, if we get it in the kitchen, obviously I'm going to try to move forward, right? But because we're drilling this spot deliberately, I'm not going to actually be moving forward. I'm going to stay and continue to work it's only in this area as, for as long as I, I need to, okay? Um, another thing I want you to work on is good footwork. So after I make contact with the ball, I do need to rearrange my feet somewhat. I don't want to just be stuck here over and over and over again. Okay, because I do need to be able to move if, if I need to. And then the final thing would be if Porter would give me a high enough ball, I have plenty of space here that I can go on the offense from here. That might be turning and attacking, staying low and attacking, but there are opportunities. That's why I call it the opportunity zone, because we have opportunities to bring the ball under control, and we have opportunities to attack as well. Okay, so I'll demonstrate, and then we're going to put you guys into the drill. All right, so... shot. Okay. That was a good job, Porter. He stayed pretty offensive. Nice. I get one win. One win on you. Again, paddle out in front. Stay nice and low. Trying to get this ball under control. Oh, I was stuck. My feet stopped moving and I got stuck and I was not able to get to that ball. And again, as soon as the ball's high enough, I am allowed to attack. All right, Kendall. Okay. Let's get you over here. <laughs> Porter, continuing to work on good position for yourself. Well, one adjustment I'd like you to make is you're doing a really nice job of not bringing your paddle back, but I want you to try to use a little bit more of your leg muscles. So depending on how we feel, I know some of us, we have some knee problems, different things like that, but the more that we can catch the ball, almost like it's a softball coming to us, and use our bigger muscles to help slow it down. There you go. Much better. Good. 
<laughs> and that, was, that wasn't even your ball. So you did great there. You hung in there totally well. I like to call this like your leg burner, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm going to feel it. <laughs> Good. Remember, the harder it's coming, the less you have to swing. Just catch that ball, try to get it back into the kitchen. Nice. And he hit it out. That'd be your point. So after we've warmed it up and practiced it, we do want to turn it into a game. Um, so this game we call, I call 7-Eleven, easy to remember. The person up at the kitchen line, they have to get 11 points. It's a lot. E it should be easier for them, right? Because they're they're up there in an offensive position. You've got to get seven points. <laughs> so digging deep for okay. those seven points. You can move a little bit. You just can't come up to that kitchen line. Okay. Ah, that was a good point. So one for Porter, one zero. It's rally scoring. Nice, there you go, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you can celebrate. <laughs> Good work, that's all right, 2-1. Nice try, yep. Get under that one just a little more. That first, that second dig was really nice. Porter, I want you to stay focused on good, clean shots. And one more. I think we're at 4-1, 5-1. Yes. There you go. Oh, that looked great. Okay, so we didn't do the full 7-Eleven, that's okay. And if you're gonna go drill this at home, you're gonna wanna probably go the, the whole game. And then think about it, like you ended up 6-1. That's a little bit of a challenge. That means next time you face Porter, you're like, okay, I'm gonna improve that somewhat. Even if it means 6-2 or 6-3, always trying to set goals of what you can do better. Um, so what, what did you feel as you were here working on this? So definitely the paddle out front mm -hmm. is something to work on. Um, and then the harder he hits, holding off, hitting it even harder. Um, you know, just kind of absorbing that. And, Good. Yeah. Yeah. So what I, I, and I, what I like is that there's a lot of things that go into every shot, but sometimes we only need to be working on one or two things. So for you, working on keeping that paddle out in front, absorbing the ball. Um, when I do it, I'm working a little bit more on my footwork um, and trying to keep myself a little bit more mobile when I'm here. Uh, but you know, every time you go out, picking something that you're like, this is what I'm gonna work on this time. Um, you know, after you played 7-Eleven straight ahead, if you really want a good leg burner, you can change it and you can go cross court, you can go straight ahead the other direction, uh, and you can spend a lot of time just working on, on mastering this mid-court area. <laughs>